Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video on the lore of Supreme Duelist Stickman. I'm gonna go all out fucking game theory on this shit. Anyways, what's Supreme Duelist Stickman? Well, Supreme Duelist Stickman is a game where you can like, you know, it's a one, it's a one or two player fighting game where you control two Stickman, right? It's not that hard. Yeah, it it seems like a simple app game. But over the years and the updates I've seen for this game, I've seen some major, major plot points. Like the lore, especially the first one. This this one arena right here tells us a lot about everything. So now, this might be... These are like some sort of structures they're fighting, right? Well, these are all in scrambled order. So we had to put them together. So one day, um, so this right, this isn't these black arms. This is an evil trying to take away a power source, right? But then the chosen one ch got this power source, right? And he spread his, uh, he spread the power throughout the people, right? But the people got corrupted, and they got, and some darker people got some to it. This sounds really racist, but hey, stick with me here. So he tries to, so he tries to like control them all because he wants to keep them all under control, right? He doesn't want them to like go all out rampant. So he asks the guidance of the angels, and this is like some analogy. It might be some analogy of like you know, because this is a bird and there's an eggshell or like right here. He raised this bird or angel or whatever. This is a lot about the lore behind Supreme Dualistic Man, but this isn't all. This is one of the stages. Now, why the fuck is there a green stage right here with a couple of cobblestone and everything? This is this is pretty weird. Now, so yeah. So you see this? This is a map reminiscent of some like Super Smash Bros. type esque of stages, right? Why the fuck are they on some cars? Why are they in a castle with a fucking bomb? With some people fighting in the background as a, you know, thing. Why are they in a, pla a, a techno platform with lava walls? Why does this structure look like a face? Why is this just a purgatory thing? Why is this block rotating while two people fight on it? Well, I got the answer just for that. You see this? Right here in the middle? This is a portal gun. Yeah, right there. Now, I got a theory. At some point, ignore those pictures. At some point of time, some jackass of a stick man decided to make some portals, right? And since a portal gun can make anything, he must have been uh, felt a little adventurous, you know? So he created these fucking portals. And eventually, he found somewhere, or look at this. Now, this seems reminiscent of. Now, this face right here seems reminiscent. Of these guys. Right here. These these five guys in the middle. It must have been like a memorial or something, right? As a face. Look at this. They're holding up the structures of this one guy. He's the chosen one. But why? Just why? I mean... So, yeah. The portal gun... Might have brought the guy or person who who actually like got the chance to use the portal gun must have brought weapons from other realms. Cause like, come on, will you really? You see this, and you're telling me it's not from other realms. You got the fucking infinity gun for God's sake. And here's the other part. Look at this: magic card, stormbreaker, a crossbow, a bow staff, a lollipop. What the fuck? You see these? So somehow, most of, like, in this game, you can customize your own character, right? Question is, why? Why? What's the reason? Well, the answer is, you are the chosen one. You are the chosen one. You are the specific person. Now, it may seem 
No, because, like, there's a lot of other stages, right? There's, like, a subway stage where you had to survive two trains. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there's another stage where you see, where, you know, those giant square cube, square cube things with faces come slamming down on you every few seconds. Yeah. But, as the chosen one, to me, I think the one who went through the chosen one, the, the portals, who created them, is the chosen one. You know why? Because there's an addition where you can make your own stages. And as you are the chosen one, you make these stages. So... Another theory I have is that the chosen one made all these stages and when and then when people started getting corrupt for the power he was spreading out, he decided to make a tournament, kind of like some Mortal Kombat shit. So, he can distribute it fairly. And then a memorial was made of him. You are the creator. You are the chosen one. How did all these weapons get here? You got katanas, hammers, bow and arrows, scythes, shields, crossbows, blades, fucking lanterns, paintbrushes. This isn't a coincidence, you guys. So what's the, the whole theory? What's the wrap-up theory? Well, my theory is... In this game, you are the chosen one. You are... The chosen one in this game. And there's also a zombie mode. In the zombie mode. As I guess. You can play as one or two player. You play as a chosen one. You play as the chosen one. And it's a, probably a simulation. Of what happened when the dark. When the dark forces came in. To steal the power. You had to fend off the zombies as much as possible. So they would not corrupt the world of the darkness. As you see right here. You see all this? This isn't a coincidence. So yeah. You wonder you if you play this game and download it, you will see that some of the stages look very some of the things similar to other stages from other different types of media. And this is because of the portal gun right here. Somehow, this jackass managed to travel to different dimensions through this fucking portal gun. Or, with the infinity gauntlet. Somehow. Because if you look right here, you see this brown thing on the bottom? That's the same bazooka from Donkey Kong. How did it get there? This is his own universe. Because some of these weapons, they're really, like, what? What the hell? Like, for example, like, where is it? Where's the guitar? There was a guitar here somewhere. This harp right here, yeah. There's a lantern. There's a guitar right here. It has the ability to slow down time. All these weapons, you see, you see, even here, right here, this fucking right here, there's a Minecraft pickaxe right here. So basically, my theory is, basically what the theory is, is that, I know, I'm kind of repeating stuff all over again. You are the chosen one, you make the maps. You are the one who has to fight through it, or maybe you don't. You aren't. You don't control the chosen one as you go through the game. You are the creator, and you see the chosen one going through these, but you control it. You're the one. You're probably sadistic. You're watching your own people die, as they want the piece of this chosen one's power. You put them through port. You put them through challenges like these. You put them in a fucking church with a bomb. And you see who would win, outlast the other. Will there be an uprising? Will there be some propaganda? I don't know. I don't know. Like, look at this. It it does it look like a face to you guys? Now this. 
I have a theory about p this specific arena. Because if you go to this specific arena, there's nothing. There's nothing at all. So, what I think is, this is, it's, it's purgatory. It's limbo. This is where you go when you're about to get fucked. So you go to this. This is your punishment. And other people there, you have to fight them too in order to gain your freedom. This is basic this place is basically a prison. It's endless. There's basically no end to the top. And yeah. And you have to fight your way out of there so you can win and go on to another thing. There's even a a house. One of the stages is a fucking house with a balloon on it from up. Portal gun again. So somehow the completed lore is the summary. The whole fucking summary is the creator. Then the chosen one appears. Then you create the stages so that the chosen one can spread his power equally and you too. But somehow some jackass with a portal gun goes through and gets other weapons. Because you already harvested some weapons, right? You gave it to them. But some jackass brought on some more, and this made the whole roster and population, stick population, go up in jeopardy. Now, women and, and men fight each other to go through and get power. Building monuments and having giant tournaments. Just so that they could have the power of this one chosen one. But hey, that's a game theory, a shitty game theory, and I don't know.